It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Coach Matt O'Brien, the Southwestern Mound Builders men's basketball coach. A big win on Saturday. Let's just start right there. I know it's been a good, strong season so far, but to this point, midway through, a great victory over Evangel, 86-78 to in the 100-year celebration for historic Stewart Fieldhouse. Let's start with the win, Coach. Big, big game, big win. Yeah, first of all, thanks for having me. I love talking about Southwestern basketball. Really proud of our program and our players and our assistant coaches. So love the opportunity. What a big night we had uh, celebrating 100 years um, of Southwestern College, the Stewart Fieldhouse. We have a national sports landmark that we play in, um, the oldest gym west of the Mississippi. And in my opinion, the very best place to play basketball in the United States. It's certainly a unique environment, a lot of fun. Uh, and then during that during that celebration, we were able to get a good win versus a very well-coached Evangel team. This team was very, very good on offense, uh, challenged us in a lot of ways. Um, but we got an awesome performance from our, our team and Kevin Clark, who ended up having 42 points, where we were able to come out with the win. Coach, I mean, you know you're going to celebrate an event like that anyway. It's marked on the calendar going in and, and recognizing a historic venue and a, and a big night. But to come away with a victory on top of it, too, I mean, that's one of those things that you hope the script works out, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, we really wanted it to. We wanted to celebrate. We wanted it to have a good finish because so many people helped us to celebrate this. Our athletic department – um, you know, our sports information director, our trainers, our president was all on board. And we have a very active booster club who did a lot of work to try and celebrate this event and volunteers their time. And so it was just a lot of fun for it to be a huge success and everybody to have a good time and celebrate our team, our college and this wonderful gym that we get to play in. Well, with that victory on Saturday, you, you move past the 350 mark now at 351. That's a nice plateau, Coach. 350 wins, pretty lofty number for a head coach. Yeah, I'm 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 really proud of it. Um, honestly, I'm really proud to have lasted. Uh, you know, coach's profession and, and to last it at one school for 15 years. I was at another school, Central Christian College, for three years as a head coach, but uh, you know, to last 18 years and um, to be here at Southwestern in the same spot for 15 years, to be able to take the hits. You know, the years that. Uh, you know, where either some some kids got injured or things didn't go well, you got criticized, you lost tough games. We've been able to take the hits and keep going. Um, we like to pride ourselves on grit, and um, I'm really proud of our, our coaches being able to last this long. 15 and 2. It's a good year this year. And we'll talk about this one in particular. 15 and 2, 10 and 2 in KCAC play. And right now, the number nine team in the country. Tell us a little bit about this year's squad. This is a veteran squad with super high character, high IQ. It's really, really a fun group to coach. Uh, we've got a lot of good players. We've got six seniors that have a lot of experience and, um, you know, really buy into what we're doing and each other. So um, to be honest with you, it's a lot of fun. Um, I really, really enjoy practice. I'm one who loves practice. Every, I mean, I, I enjoy practice so much. It's my favorite thing. Um, but they make it even more enjoyable. I'm so thankful that these guys allow me to coach them. I coach them hard every single day. Our practices are really tough. They're challenging, and these guys allow me to challenge them and push them to get better daily, uh, as, long, as well as our coaches. I push our coaches. We have a young coaching staff who I push daily, and uh, they continue to get better. And um, when I see improvement, that's what it's all about for me. When I, I can watch uh, people getting better and improving, um, it's a really – really a lot of fun for me and, and, and extremely fulfilling. We're here on Midwest sports net visiting with coach Matt O'Brien on the summit today. And I encourage you please continue to watch the videos here and like this video. We enjoy talking about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond uh, coach among those players. You, you mentioned Kevin Clark because he put up 42 in that win on Saturday. Really? That should be just about par for the course. I know it's a high number this year, but he's the number one scorer in the country right now, uh, better than uh, than 26 points a game. Talk about his play and, and what he's done for you. Well, I mean, he's an unbelievable competitor, and as good of a scorer as he is, and that's just a fact how well he scores the basketball, uh, he is an even better teammate and competitor. This kid competes at a really, really high level. Defensively, loose balls, 
he takes charges, his desire and will to win are very, very strong. And uh, what makes it great is he's a really good teammate where, you know, when you have a, a guy taking a lot of shots like Kevin does, you, you can have some people that are, uh, you know, wanting more of an opportunity on the offensive end. But uh, Kevin is such a good teammate and so much about the team and winning that it, you know, it provides no problem for us as we focus on getting him shots. And our team really does work together to get him as most shots as possible because, you know, he has such a great ability for scoring the basketball. Obviously, he can put it put it in the basket when he needs to when they get him the ball. You were talking also about uh, the the time there in the in your tenure and uh, just sticking around. But fourteen consecutive winning seasons as of now, and coach, I'm going to go ahead and say fifteen because where you are in your season, it's mathematically impossible for you to not have a winning season this year. So again, congratulations for that as well. There's a consistency there, and you talked about a veteran squad this year, young coaching staff, but talk about the consistency in the culture and, and what it means to be there at Southwestern and part of this program. Well, thanks for that question, because I'm really proud of how consistent we are. And the culture is, you know, we we've we've talked about Culture matters being our slogan for close to 10 years now. I mean, we, we don't try to out coach people. Um, we really try to, we try to figure out a way, how can we out culture them? How can we provide an environment for our players and staff that they believe in what we're doing and really want to fight for that culture. And we've been able to do that for a long period of time. It's, it's really centered around hard work. There's no secret. Uh, we work really, really hard. Uh, we're a hard work team. We practice hard. Um, we don't take, uh, you know, we don't take days off unless it's our mandatory Sunday that we're taking off. Any other day is a work day for us. Um, I, um, I'm not an extremely talented person. I'm not, uh, I'm not really smart. I'm not uh, charismatic. What we do is work. Uh, we try to be tough and we try to work and um, we, we, we try to put our guys in the best position possible each day to make improvement. Uh, in practice. And I think it pays off in the games. Our practices are really hard. And uh, when we get to the games, I feel like our, our guys are really prepared and free. Um, they're, they're very free in games and play with a lot of confidence. I think when a lot of the comments we get from most coaches and people are how free our players play and how hard they play. Um, we really challenge them in practice and, and also build them up at the same time. So we feel like we can really get them to perform at a high level in games, which is fun. <laughs> yes, I can imagine. And and by the way, Coach, I, I appreciate the humility, but clearly the results say that that whatever it is you're doing, you are doing it well. So uh, that, that sounds good. Well, I, we'll wrap up this time today. And again, I'm very grateful for it. Thank you for taking time with us today. And talk about the, the fact that the season's not over. There's still more work to be done. And you all are back on the road this week. You head to Tabor on Wednesday and to York on Saturday. Can you preview this week for us? Yeah, uh, you know, Tabor is a very young, uh, well-coached, tough team, and we will definitely have our hands full. They've got a lot of scoring and versatility on the offensive end. Um, their bigs can really shoot it that can present challenges for us, uh, and they run a lot of good offensive action. So, um, our guys uh, have been really preparing hard the last couple days for this really good Tabor team, and we're looking forward to the challenge on the road. And then again on Saturday, you know, we go to York, Nebraska. It's one of our longest, if not our longest, trip of the year, and they're a very talented, uh, athletic basketball team that gave us everything. Um, it was very close game with, with us in the first semester. This is our second second competition against them and they were very very difficult opponent for us and so we have our hands full with two games on the road but you know i think our guys they have the attitude and the aptitude to uh, work hard these two games concentrate on the scouting report dial in and play their best basketball here when we need them to late late here in january and going into february all right, Coach. Well, success to you all through the remainder of this season. Southwestern Mound Builders looking to make another trip through the uh, conference portion of the postseason and try to make it back to Kansas City and make a trip deep into the playoffs again as well. Coach Matt O'Brien, thank you, sir, for taking time with us today here on the Summit. All right. Thanks a lot. And go Builders.